So we've got a wonderful specimen here. A nice big duck. Uh, it also came with the pluck. Uh, the neck is still inside as well. It's not detached so I can't pull it out. Uh, but we're going to cook it just like that. So we get the liver, the gizzards, and the heart. No lungs. Is what it is. See any concern in there? There's none. <laughs> I don't mind uh, not doing lungs. I, I've never done that to be honest with you. Uh, but the liver in certain animals uh, definitely done. Not a huge fan if I'm honest but if done properly uh, it can definitely be tasty. Uh, so we're going to use it this time. Uh, gizzards I've ate uh, and many a fowl uh, and it's typically good. Again cooked right in the heart. Uh, it just is what it is. If you're a, a hunter or a stalker, you're out in the field and you're procuring meat for yourself, uh, that's typically the first thing I eat. So you bring that back. Uh, it's nothing but meat, honestly. Uh, there's a certain way to process it. You know, you typically want to uh, slice it thin uh, in a cast iron pan with some butter, salt, and pepper. Job's a good one, you know. So uh, we get the heart there. It's you know, small, but this is a pretty good sized duck. Then by the looks, uh, it's going to be a tight fit, but we're going to do it in the bake kettle again, uh, the old Dutch oven, uh, right here as soon as we get some coals kicking up. So uh, we'll run you through the rest of the ingredients as far as how we're going to season it. Uh, we're definitely going to roast this off, which again, in the time period, 18th century, uh, when you read recipes, it's it's pretty different than what we're used to today. And, and they call things, you know, how they seen fit back in the day compared to what we're used to today. So uh, roasting, braising, stewing, and that sort of thing is, is kind of all intermingled. And you, you kind of have to read if they even give you the the details on it, uh, little clues as as to how the preparation went, and then you have to decipher from there uh, the cooking process because it doesn't really tell you. So uh, we're we're gonna roast this off. Uh, roast nowadays is a a dry process. Uh, stewing, braising, obviously, is in a liquid. Uh, so we don't want to do that, or I don't want to do that with this duck. So we're going to roast it off dry. We're going to get our pie pan out. Hopefully this fits mostly on that. We're going to put it on a trivet in the bake kettle and do a dry roast. Uh, and this is going to take some time. So this, this bird here is six and a quarter pounds. It calls for two and a half hours uh, at 350. <laughs> So again, hard cooking with coals or over the fire in general, it's a constant, you know, trying to figure that stuff out. <clears throat> so if we're going to use coals here, two and a half hours at 350, I'd imagine it's going to go a half hour to an hour longer with the changing of coals probably multiple times uh, during this process. So uh, again, we're going to get to the seasoning. I'm going to season this dude up, uh, add the rest of our ingredients, and uh, get it in the oven. Should be a good one though. Alright, so the fire has been going nicely. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit of coals on the bottom, which is good, so we need to let that go for a little bit. But, so we got our duck duck here in the big bowl. So for spices, I have a mix of black pepper so some of it's fine and some of it's uh, coarsely ground uh, some salt some allspice and some butter uh, and we still have our pluck right here which is liver gizzards and heart so we're gonna season them too and then we're gonna tuck them right back inside uh, and cook them that way uh, because we're roasting this off uh, I almost want to just do these separate in a fry pan and just be done with it, right? <laughs> but it is what it is. So, season the outside of the bird. Plenty of pepper.
to the one side there. Throw some salt on that bad Larry. So and I typically use sea salt uh, when I cook with salt. Uh, if I'm just adding salt at the end, like on my plate, right before I eat it, you know, I'll do table salt. But when I cook, I typically use sea salt. Uh, we got some some allspice here. <laughs> this is like the star of the show, by the way. side Let's flip her over do the underside now I've wiped my hands for all, you, all the food Nazis so the pluck again add some salt to that some pepper some spice and everything nice all right so I'm going to get that back inside the bird here, tuck it up in there, now my hands ain't washed, but hey ho. I'm going to add some seasoning inside the bird, some pepper there, some salt. Touch of allspice, good, and then a few knobs of butter right up in there. So all of that goes inside. Tuck that up in there. Wipe the hands. Back to seasoning. Other side of the bird. Oh, that was a lot of pepper. Sauce. I just say that. Really? All in, he says. Some allspice to that. All in. Boom. Spice is done. So we're going to let our coals build up here. Transfer this into the bake kettle. We'll see how it turns up. <laughs> it's raw. Like legit raw. And it already smells good just with the spices. So uh, see you guys in a few. Son. Still, it needs to rest. Just took it out. Juices are mostly clear. So that cooked for two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> I know, I get it. Like the smell is friggin' ridiculous. The skin there. Good lord. And so I really should wait, uh, and I will for the most part, but 
I have to try it. Still steaming. Good Lord. <laughs> and that's rolling on his gauge. So juicy. So uh, what you didn't see, I didn't film every second of it, obviously, uh, but I did baste it about every 15 minutes, just with the juices, you know, that came from it. So uh, very, very juicy. I'm about to make a mess, and it's still way too hot to eat. But. I know someone's gonna ask why what happened to the stuff inside I don't know honestly I haven't even looked let's see if I can take something out here there we go I'm not sure if it's uh The gizzard or the heart, honestly. Looks like a gizzard, I guess. Nope, that was the heart. Definitely flavorful, no doubt. A little, little chewy. I think again that needed to be cut up, sliced thin, and cooked on its own uh, in the skillet with some butter and salt and pepper, and that would have been good. Uh, but still, still good. Definitely tastes good. Uh, a little on the chewy side though. digging anything else so I don't have to really dig in there for the liver and the rest of it I'm not gonna do that right now but definitely gonna tear into this so uh, thank you guys for watching I appreciate it we'll catch you on the next one take care <laughs>